Hey guys, it's late and I'm having a hard night, it's kind of funny, if I look at it from a bystander's point of view so maybe you guys will enjoy. Be me, 18 year old. Wanna be a marine, wanna be a badass. Graduate high school and wait two years, join the workforce first and sort things out back home. Have to get blood test for work, nurse taking my blood is kind of cute, ask her out, date for a year. Still bent on joining the marines, sign up when I turn 20. Break up with girlfriend, so I don't have to worry about things back home. It's a good idea, go through boot and ITB worry free. Hit fleet fresh off the press. For the first four months, I frequent a specific bar. Make friends with the bartender. He lets me know which girls are complete whores and which ones are less experienced. Helps me get laid a lot for a while. Four months and get a text from X, she's moving literally 10 minutes away from the base M station on. Decide to get back together, really liked this girl before I signed up. Maybe I'll work now that we're closer. Stop going to bar, as there's no point now. Try not to take things too seriously, fail horribly. Find out she's an army brat, dad's some big wig in the army, guy's been in every SF group on the list. Google him for shits and giggles, and so I know she's not bullshitting me. She's not. Mom's retired, super nice lady. Spend Thanksgiving at their house. Parents like me, I like parents. Start to get close to girl, she's actually brilliant, she's two months younger than me, and has already gotten multiple college degrees, graduated high school at like 15 to 16. Think this may work. Get told I'm going on deployment, not combat but it'll still be away for six months. This is the test for us. Go there. Talk every day, no arguments. Things go smoothly, I'm possessive but not paranoid, she's down with only hanging out with her girlfriends while I'm away. Come back and all is well, really happy. Fast forward another deployment in a few years. Getting out of military in six months. Happy as can be. Have moved in with GF, she makes crazy amounts of money due to her job. Feel really awkward about it thinking people will think I want her for her money. Try to pay for things when I can. Mill pay is shit. Have a dog together. Not ready for kids yet. Have been dating for over three years now, thinking of popping the question. She makes it amply clear that she's ready. Get a text from my bartender buddy, complaining about not talking for a while. We hung out plenty of times over the years, but I'm not a huge drinker, ironic I know, so I don't go to the bar much. As far as he knows, I'm still single. Subject of girlfriend just never came up. Invites me to come to the bar one weekend. Say fuck it, decide to take GF with me. Make a date night of it. I'm in love with this girl, can think of no one else but her. Arrive at bar, friend smiles at me from behind the counter and nods as we sit at a booth. Night goes well, friend comes over and says hi, don't actually get to talk to him much. Feels bad so I go over to bar, telling GF I gotta talk a bit with buddy since he invited us. I walk over to friend and he grins. Well it's about damn time you came over, I knew you were a suave fucker, but this is the first time you brought one in with you first. He winks and I chuckle, before he motions me closer. I know it's been a while bud, but I think our little tradition is still on a confusion.jpg. What do you mean, he nods at my girlfriend, who's sitting in the booth on her phone. Your little night of fun you picked up, I drop her fast, she's a regular at this point. More confusion.jpg. Still hasn't hit yet. She came by almost, right when you stopped coming, started leaving with guys almost every weekend. I'll tell you what Manchester's the biggest slut this side of the state, drop her before you get out the door, because your dick will feel like a hot dog down a hallway with that one. It takes me 30 solid seconds before I can wrap my brain around the fact that he's talking about my girlfriend. The girl I've been dating for nearly my entire military career, the light of my life, girl I'd just bought a ring for and was gonna propose to the day I got out. I stand there staring before looking back at her, she smiles and waves back at me. I guess she sees the deer in headlights look on my face because she starts to frown and her eyes bounce between us. I glance back at my friend and his smile is gone too, he's looking at me with a confused expression. 
How often does she come in? He glances up and down at me gauging my expression up. Uh, she's been coming in once or twice a month since you stopped coming by stare at him again. From that point on I've gone completely numb. Still am. I can see him start to realize what's going on. And while I'm walking away he sputters out of oh shit man I'm sorry I didn't realize. Walk over to the woman I loved. Tell her we're going home. She gets this panicky confused look and nods. Drive home in silence. We get home and I walk inside without her. Start packing calmly. I'm living with her so I've tried to minimize my presence in her house by leaving most of my stuff in my barracks room. Pack what's mine before she walks unsteadily into the room. Babe what's going on, ignore her and zip up my duffel. Chess panicking and trying to figure out why I'm mad, trying to see if she can talk her way out of whatever it is I'm pissed about. Start to walk out throwing a I didn't realize you were a regular there over my shoulder. She snaps and starts bawling out I'm sorry and please no over and over. I don't really understand why people who cheat act like they actually have feelings for the person they're cheating on. Why the crying and such. It doesn't make sense. Before I get out the door I realize something. Turn back around and walk back. She's on her knees just crying. I'm still numb, so I walk right past her to the bedroom. Fully within her view I take the ring box from its hiding place in my drawer. She stares, completely quiet and open-mouthed. She quietly gets up and walks over to the couch and sits down. Stares with this infinite stare at nothing as I walk out with my things. Pack everything into my car and drive back to base, dragging my things into the barracks room and sitting on my bed. Roommate looks up and asks what I'm doing here. Ignore him and he goes to sleep, take out my phone and type this up and post it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe.